Welcome back to Performance TV. This is a hot little C4 Corvette. But power steering pump noise, that is gonna chase everybody away. But do not worry, Kathy has got a solution. Well, Joe, that whining sound, or maybe the steering wheel just feels like it's a little harder to turn, and that's not the way power steering is supposed to work. We're going to be able to help you out with that today. We have Mark here with us from Steel Shield Technologies. And Mark, not only with the power steering issues that we may have, your product works kind of across the board Absolutely. to help us out with problems or to prevent problems. Right. What is it about your product that works so well? It's our advanced boundary film technology. It's proprietary to us, and we perfected it, there's no negative results with it at all. It's all positive benefits. So you're not actually making oils and fluid and things like that, you're making something that works with it. Right, exactly, exactly. It, it's used to uh, different industries from trucking to automobile and the engines to the industrial version. This is a grease here that has a lithium complex which has our additive added to it to okay. give you the advanced boundary film. This is a penetrating oil here it's called Strike Shield. It's it's a very environmentally friendly uh, penetrating oil. Sure, and right all the way to people who are with their their guns and that type Absolutely. of thing. Your product works as Absolutely. well. But I want to see what makes it work so well. And I right. know that you have a great demonstration for us. I'm glad to show it to you. All right. So okay. first, we're going to start off with just uh, what what uh, grade of oil do we have? It's a 1540. Okay, so just like we have with our diesels. That's correct. That's correct. So this test machine is a standard in the industry. It's designed by a company called Felix Corporations. It's a Timken OK load test. The two metal surfaces you see right here is that this one is a Timken race, has a Rockwell hardness of C62. And the other metal surface in the holder here are these Felix tapered test rolls that have a Rockwell hardness of C58. So the machine will turn 1,725 RPMs with the electric motor. It's turning the belt, it's turning the shaft, and we're going to apply the oil onto the race. And what will we be simulating here? This is extreme conditions of wear. Okay. So we're going to multiply this, the, uh, the pressures on two metal surfaces. Okay, let's see her go here. Okay, we have the tapered bearing in the holder here. Put it on the machine. Two things to watch is the amp meter and the scale. Every pound I apply on the scale is equivalent to over 30 pounds of pressure. So we're going to pull it down. And see how it goes. And boy, that didn't go very far before um, that was off. Right, about eight pounds or so. So we just froze up an engine. You can see the word that's taking place already. It barely even got a chance to get going. Just to show you the consistency of the test, we'll turn it to a new spot. We'll do it again here. Boom, gone. Right. Just like that. And we didn't, you know, use some cheap oil or anything like that. That well, was a the brand name. Yes. It really doesn't matter what the name is. And so that's the word it's taking to place. We'll turn it to a new spot. Using the same exact piece. Right. We're gonna take the oil. And take it away. Take it away. Now I'll just take some of the engine shield. And you're just going to? Yeah, I'm just going to take some of the oil residue off the race, add the product, which is the honey color, no solid particles, no Teflons, mollies, graphites, or silicons in it. Again, we'll do it again here. Okay. And this will be the difference. This is the ABF technology. Wow, look how much pressure you're able to put on there. And it just keeps going and going. We're all the way down to the bottom of the scale, over 25 pounds of pressure. Amps are still low. And wow, what a difference that makes. And not only for the inside of your engine, but of course, like we're going to see Joe do and get our power steering fixed up. So we removed the old fluid with the syringe included in the kit, replaced it with the power steering shield and just like that, the sound is gone. For more information, check out their website, Power Steering Shield. Looks like it's a great product. We'll have more Performance TV after this.